<laughs> Another 22 minute part! Yay! Oh, I should probably oh, share screens. Yeah. That might help. So, Great I'm balls. buying a fuck ton of great balls for whatever reason. Because it's always when you don't have any Pokeballs that you find the shiny. Oh, god damn it. I want a shiny by the end of this game. I need a shiny by the end of this game. I've, I've played every, like, Pokemon generation since Emerald. Mm -hmm. And I've found one shiny. One shiny? What was it? Um, it was a Moongus. Oh, yeah. Because I was just, like, searching around. I saw a Pokeball in the grass, and I pick it up. And it like bounces on like, oh another one and then it's purple and white and I'm like That's not normal. Give me all of your things. <laughs> Spam Pokeballs. I got my buy shop out, I was doing like false swipe, anything else, and I will murder you. <laughs> um Oh yeah, I'm activating the um mystery gift. Basically, if you want to get activate the mystery gift for whatever reason, it won't work anymore because they shut it down a long time ago. You put into the questionnaire, link together with all. So yeah, that activates the mystery gift. Linking together forever. Linking together forever. Uh. What was the mystery gift? Uh, mystery gift is the thing where it's like um, uh, you it's like how you get um special event Pokemon. Ah. Like on the DS, if you connect to Wi-Fi, then um, oh god damn it, it's this asshat again. Uh, uh, let's. Why don't we just kill him? <sighs> hey, Gary. Uh... It's a pretty full team you got there. You were one down though. I'm surprised though. Actually, uh, I can't talk. I only have like four Pokemon. I only use uh, three of them, so. I like how we continually call him Gary, even though we named him Liam. Yeah, because Gary motherfucking Oak. It doesn't go as well as Liam motherfucking Oak. Yeah, good point. Liam did not collect ten out of the eight badges. Wait a second. He never. Wait a second. Wait a second. I'm waiting. What the fuck? I'm trying to think how that'd be possible. I like I've always looked at that image and I always thought, oh no, it's photoshopped. But then I just realized, no, that's actually from an episode. What the? F Did he accidentally stumble into Johto? <laughs> well, get no one. Some people say that, yeah. The two badges were the first two from Johto, but no, I don't think they were because Johto didn't exist yet. That's how Pokemon Worlds, right? We found it's a Gary new region. It's it Gary. was right next to us this entire time. <laughs> <laughs> Knowing Gary motherfucking Oak, he could just stumble across it by accident. We've been alone for centuries. And one All of they had to do was walk over a mountain. To. All they ever had to do was walk over a mountain. And yet, still, they didn't. Did nobody ever think to just walk over a mountain and just like, hey, today, today, today. That would require effort. Yeah, good point. Red does go halfway up the mountain, gets to the top, and he's just like, I could descend, and I could go into Johto. But I'm lazy as fuck, so I'm going to stand on the top of a mountain for five years. No food or water. No food or water. Oh, well, he does have a um, war turtle. I know a war turtle. A blastoise. So he'll just use hydro pump. It's kind of disturbing. Hmm. That's something I've never understood. Why don't they just have their Pokemon use water gun? It's like an infinite supply of water. Wait a second. This is Gary's last Pokemon, um, Liam's last Pokemon, isn't it? I don't know. Hey, I'll Liam. What happened to your Eradicate? Oh, God. <laughs> you know what's even better? 
fighting types are weak against psychic types. I know. Just to prove a point. Although I guess... Oh yeah, we learned the best move in the the Charmander can ever learn. Flamethrower is amazing. Flamethrower. You yeah. could you could scratch them with your claw, or you could blast them with a gout of flame. Yep. Can't find the bigger mile. Where could they be? Um, in the gym with steroids. I don't know. What? Where did that come from? I'm... Anyway, you can't progress through Pokemon Tower yet because there's um. You don't have well, the silk code glasses. Yeah, in a, in a second it'll show that, or I'll battle some pointless stranger. Oh, Come on, the encounter rate in Pokemon Tower is terrible when you're actually trying to encounter something. And then when you're not, it's just more screwy. But yeah, you can't, um, what do you call it, fight Pokemon, because there's, you can't catch anything, there because there's just ghosts. I have a <laughs> Get out, get out, get out, okay, okay, okay. And then I run like a little bitch I am. I'm too scared to move. You're a psychic tyke. Psychic tyke? Yes, you're a toddler, but psychic. No. <laughs> You're a psychic type, nothing can defeat you. Oh well, the Rugrats do communicate with each other. The only way I can assume that they do is through telepathy. Well, they just have loads and loads of carrier pigeons. Wait a sec, what? Yeah, the pigeons, when you write a message, type to the line. Oh, uh, no, don't worry, don't worry. What's a cute, round, and fluffy Pokemon? Very. Uh, I'm a rambling gaming dude. Interesting fact, he actually got, that guy actually got censored. Originally he said, I'm a rambling gambling dude. Uh, so I'm they fine. changed it to gaming because it's for kids. It's for kids, which is why we have an old man staring in an Erica at all the ladies in our gym. Fuck <sighs> that guy. I think the Nuzlocke comic did it best. Where he's, he like looks at him and he has both his hands down his pants. And he just has like this horrified look on his face. And it's time for our first double battle. Hey, it's Jigglypuff and Slave. Yeah. Oh no. Why did it send out the Slave? Oh damn me. I'm out. Rape it with Psychic, Nick. Rape it with Psychic. I'm not even sure what type Clefairy and Jigglypuff are. Normal, I think. Just normal? I think so. Huh. Right. I still remember oh, Jigglypuff's song. I'm gonna sing that to my kids. If, you know, I ever have kids. Yeah, yeah. Assuming that, you know. Anyway, um... Interesting fact, um, Gengar... It, the, um, sh like, it's Sprite and Clefairy Sprite. They're both very similar. Their body shape and everything is very similar. And they're pretty much on opposite ends of the spectrum. Clefairy's a normal type, Gengar's a um, ghost type. That's like, the idea is that oh god damn it, the slave leveled up. Um, the idea is that um, Gengar is actually Clefairy's shadow. Or Gengar's from Bizarro World. <laughs> Along with uh, who's the who's the evil? enemy of Superman, it's like some Aztec name or something, like Cosmo. Uh, the only, what do you call it, um, Superman villain I know is Darkseid. Just, just just goes to show how much I know about DC. That's kind of awesome. And then yeah. it's like DC, I'm like, well, Darkseid must be the strongest villain, right? And then it's no, Doomsday kicked his ass, and he also killed Superman and I'm like, alright, so Doomsday is the strongest villain, right? No, Doomsday got his ass kicked by someone else. Who's the strongest freaking person? You just stop arguing with it after a while and you just go watch Marvel. Because, 
Marvel's a lot simpler. Also, I believe in Marvel that he's actually a god that you, no one's seen yet, but there is like one above all or something. Um. Well, in um, what do you call it? In Marvel, it's set that Galactus is the strongest. He is stronger than everyone else. Nobody can touch him. And then he's even the Rich final boss Reed of Marvel vs. Capcom. Or something. He's even the final boss of Marvel vs. Capcom three. Come on. But um. Deadpool would kick his ass because. Yeah, because Deadpool is awesome. Unless he's in the crappy Wolverine movie. Actually, no, I think I know who the strongest person in Marvel is. Who? Hey. Squirrel Girl! What? Does that actually exist? That exists, and she has beaten almost every villain in the universe, but off screen. What? What? I'm serious, she's been Galactus, she's been Doctor Who, she's been Deadpool twice, but all off screen. How? I don't even... What? If you go to the Marvel like homepage, it actually shows it shows Whoops, the stats. She has the highest stats. <laughs> I don't even. She just like had a cow, and then like all these squirrels appear out of nowhere and just maul the other person to death. That's so weird. <laughs> oh, squirrel girl is <laughs> that superhero? Hey dude, I'm just gonna take your EV if that's okay, yeah, I'm out here. And who will the EV be? Cameron! Nope, because he hasn't been on the commentary channel. I agree. Will it be Elliot? No, we already have potato. Alright. <laughs> oh, of course. I'll push the potato sack. There you are. Um. Hurry up past me. You could just, you know, type in some random name and change it later. Could just go. Uh, oh, I'm going. I'm going. Oh, hi, Fox. Yeah, it's Folsom. The only other person we have. Yeah. Uh, we do have Ryan in oh, yeah. part three. Well, well, what else is there? And we have a, now have a level twenty-five Eevee. Right. It's... We now only have two other Pokemon that we have to catch, and we'll have our endgame team. Slave is in the endgame team. Slave is no, not going to make it to the Elite Four. <laughs> Poor Slave. He's like an ood. And by a couple of levels, I mean I got it from level 25 to level 28. And now for the greatest part of the entire game. I thought you were gonna talk Celadon about Celadon department store. Let's all go to let's all go to Walmart, guys. But you did talk to the guy with the suit. The suit. Yeah. Um. If if people rewind the video a little bit, that guy next to the sign that you checked. Uh, if mm -hmm. you talk to him, he says something about oh, the suit is really hot and just doesn't move from that spot. Hmm. That's really weird. Alright, let's see what this person here has, is selling. Dig more Hyper Beam. Yeah, Hyper Beam. It's like, hmm, I could choose Hyper Beam or I could choose Hyper Beam. Secret Alpha oh, is... C, Hyper Beam. <laughs> this is. I thought that this guy was the one who sells the stones, and I realized, wait, wait, no, he doesn't? Then where do they sell the stones in this place? Oh, <laughs> in the basement, it's a black market thing. <laughs> well, what is this, the chow garden? Seriously, that makes no sense. Why do you buy things for your chow from the black market? I don't know. It's the black market, they have everything there. Finally finished Pokemon. Oh hi, I finally finished Pokemon. What? Hey, it's the Deadpool! Fourth wall. The fourth wall, it hurts! We were just talking the, about it! The poor fourth wall. <laughs> I feel so sorry for you. Ah, here's the stones. Here are the stones. 
Are you going to buy a thunderstorm? Yes, you are. Yes, I am. I know what I'm going to title this episode. The evolution episode. What am I doing? Just give Eevee the stone. So yeah, we are going to get a Vaporeon. Ray Vaporeon. And I couldn't decide whether I was going to take Vaporeon or Jolteon. And like when I was first planning out what my final team would be. And if I was going to get Jolteon, then I would have gotten Gyarados. But I feel like Gyarados is a bit redundant, because by the time I finish, by the time I get to Elite 4, I'll have a Dragonite and I'll also have Charizard, which can both learn Dragon type moves. So there'd be no point to have him, so I ended up deciding to have a Raichu instead. Alright, Raichu. Yay, Raichu. I think I, if I still have my Leaf Green game, and by Leaf Green game I mean the emulator that I used to play on, I think I still have my Pikachu. I never evolved it. <laughs> I named it Sparky, which was a reference to another Pikachu in the anime. Oh, yeah, I remember that. Like, just thinking about it, yeah, I remember Sparky. I like Sparky. And you know what's the only annoying thing? It doesn't learn any water type moves immediately. Mm. I can't get them on. Mm. Uh, it's Potato, got Potato, got Hetra. Also, Hetra is one level off of all. <coughs> <coughs> Please don't die in the middle of the episode. Yeah, that'd be bad. Um, Hetra is one level off, evolving into Charizard. You got me with my spoon. I have an electric rat. I have a water dog thing, and I have a flaming ch uh, flaming chameleon. I know. Oh, and a um crab that's slowly being turned into a zombie. There was there was actually one um. There was one guy on the internet who asked his little sister, what's a mouse? And then her response was, it's like a Pikachu, but not electric. I'm like, I'm proud of this generation. Oh, wow. That's coin case. Yay, Jim. There's the oh, purr. Master Roshi, I didn't know you were in this game. <laughs> Great. We were talking about Dragon Ball Z and Naruto, so it could have been either Master Roshi or Master Jiraiya. Hmm. They're both masters, and this is awesome. Together. This is so intense. What? No! 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 I did not see that coming. <laughs> I did not see that coming. And frankly, I'm shocked. And he's evolving again. Alright, this time for sure. Nope. At least it's not a metapod. It's like the cocoon is breaking, but a butterfree is coming out. No, you just put duct tape over the cocoon. You're not getting out. No, fuck you. I like to imagine yeah. that like Charmander gets like halfway through, like the Charmeleon gets halfway through evolving, and I just run up and punch it. Just stop that, bad no. Charmeleon. Obvious jump cut is obvious. Uh, hop in this Pokemon training. All right. We don't like bug or fire type Pokemon. Wait. Yet. Hey, it's finally evolving. By the way, none of those um. Trainers is mandatory, so you can basically skip. I think most of them, but you need to fight at least one trainer. And we finally have a Charizard. Finally! Hey, it's Charizard! Yay, we've just won the game. Hmm. And all of you viewing have just lost it. Oh, you son of a bitch. 
Uh. It was the perfect setup. You cannot deny me, maybe. Yeah. Hey, it's Erica! Any anyway, hey, look, it's a stoner. If, if the, this gym would have been like five times better if afterwards you told them that there was a show about finding the window. There's one of them who like calls you out by the thing of peep, uh, Peeping Tom. It's like, no, the Peeping Tom is the seedy old man outside. Just get beat the crap out of him. You know, this. I'm destroying this gym leader with one Pokemon. This is just too epic to just have normal gym leader music. Hmm. Are you going to put Kingdom Hearts or Final Fantasy music music? No, Kingdom Hearts and Final Fantasy music is too dramatic. I'll put some sort of curvy music over it just to fuck with people. <laughs> yes. Look at what battle themes I have, and the answer is not many. <laughs> oh, she can see. Yes, the rainbow badge. Yeah, this is definitely a gym full of stoners. I, I like it. I think this is the only gym where um, you actually need a HM to get to the um, gym leader. You need cut to get past the, um, what do you call it? Trees. So yeah, apparently the dragon Pokemon isn't actually a dragon type. Who to thunk it? It's just a flying lizard. <laughs> when you say it like that, it sounds so anticlimactic. Then it's not a dragon; it's a Drake. Like a dragon, but kind of small and more agile. Mm, I'll take it. <laughs> Uh. Oh, oh. Thank God it's the end. 